Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, for those who might have remembered all the way back from way back when, um, I tried the old Mountain Dew Voodoo from that year. Um, and the, the big thing with Mountain Dew Voodoo every time Mountain Dew releases one of these is basically it's a mystery flavor. They want you to try to guess what the flavor is. Um, so I know I'm probably a little bit late to the ball game on this one, but I do have the 2021 edition of Mountain Dew Voodoo right there. Um, I guess another reason why it took me as long as it did to find this is I wanted to make sure I got this at an individual bottle instead of like a full 12 pack. So in case the flavor is not good, that way I don't have to worry about drinking all 12 cans or anything like that. Or finding somebody who to give it away to who does want to try it. Um, so yep, I'm going to try that today for today's video. Like I said, I did try either the 2021 or the 2019 when I forget which one I tried. Um, but... Um, I want to say it was the 2021 because I can see how he's holding three fingers up here, the little Grim Reaper guy. Um, I think he was holding up two fingers the year that I was I tried the other one. So let me give this a taste. I'll give it a rating as usual on any like snack or beverage review that I do. And I'll also try to tell you what I think the mystery flavor is on this one. So the last time I tried it, I think I guessed cotton candy. So I doubt if it's that this time around. It's not a bad flavor. There was a YouTube review I saw a while ago, or not a while ago, probably a couple weeks ago, of somebody who really didn't like this at all. I didn't think I don't think it's that bad. I think it's taffy. If I were to guess a flavor, I think it's taffy, like a taffy candy, which would make sense. You know, Halloween, trick-or-treat, candy in the bags. I think it's taffy, some type of flappy taffy or something like that. Some type of a candy, candified taffy, which I'm sure all forms of taffy is. <clears throat> <clears throat> kind of goes rough on your throat, though, just to let you know. Um, yeah, it's not a bad flavor. Um, I don't know if I get it all the time. I don't think it's going to replace any of my current favorite Mountain Dew flavors. Um, so I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's taffy as far as what I think the flavor is. It'll be interesting to see what Mountain Dew reveals to be the flavor to be eventually. I think, I'm pretty sure it's taffy though. <clears throat> so 8 out of 10. It's, it's good enough. It's, you know, it's not, it's better than okay. It's not amazing. It's not going to replace your favorite flavor or anything. So 8 out of 10, I think it's taffy. Um, any other thoughts on this? Just kind of, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think it is down below if you guys have tried this. But like I said, I apologize if this video took a little bit longer than expected. Um, I also need to assign, that's what I was going to do, I was going to assign a movie to this like I always do for this kind of thing. Um... Let's go with Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm sure I've used that at least once or twice by now, but with this being, I'm pretty sure, a taffy-flavored soda, it's only appropriate to kind of give Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory that um, assignment or that label. Um, I think there was, I think he had a taffy room at some point in the factory. At one point in the movie, he had to get that kid who, who shrank down onto the TV. They had to stretch him out to become his normal size again. So I'm pretty sure he had a taffy room at some point in the factory in that movie. So Billy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory for a movie for this, 8 out of 10, and I'm pretty sure it is taffy as far as what the flavor is, so 8 out of 10 for me.